Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and today I'm going to show you how I created these uh, cool blade wipes using gradients and alpha channels in Cinema 4D. So without further ado, let's dig in. So firstly I want to show how I achieved this look on the sword when the um, these light blings, if that's what you call them, come off the end of the sword. Um, and again over here you can notice how these little sharp gradiented blings come off the sword here and um, over there. So let's dive straight into Cinema 40 so I should know how to do that. So we're going to create a new material. Let's call it uh, wipe maybe. Okay and we're going to drag this wipe onto the sword. And let's change its color. So we're going to put it on the luminance channel because I want it to be nice and, and flat. And I go to my alpha channel and what we're going to do is you're essentially going to punch out the um, that white. So we're going to use a, a gradient. And um, if you right click you can set your interpolation to step. That way we've got a, um, a very sharp gradient. And um, what we can do next is at the moment it's running uh, incorrectly over to UV. It's, so we can go to our texture tag and we can change that to flat. So let me put a interactive render region preview on it. Now you notice it's running from left to right. So if we change that to 2D V, it should be running from top to bottom, which is great. And that flat projection has been set on both. So if I had to turn this sword around, uh, it's on both sides. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to change the angle to 45 degree because usually these types of uh, metallic wipes would be at an angle. And if we right click on, on this gradient, we can double up our knots. Now, one thing I want to bear in mind is I want this wipe to kind of not be here at first and then wipe across the sword and then come to the top. Now, the way alpha channels work is, is black means 0% alpha. So I want to make sure that the beginning and the end is black on my sword. So if I click an extra knot there, make that black, uh, drag that forward. Now it's black at the top and at the bottom. So let's just make these blings a little bit closer together. Maybe we can make a nice really uh, thin one over here and a very thick one over there. That's great. And uh, yeah, now let's, let's see if we can animate this. So we're gonna go click on our uh, texture tag and we're gonna animate the offset uh, V value. Now you've noticed that uh, Let's just turn our tiling off. There we go. So I turned the tiling off so that it only had one version to animate off. So let's go to the bottom, uh, set a keyframe there by clicking on this radio button. And let's just animate it over 30 frames um, to the top. And then drop another one. So what we should have is this wiping across like that. Now if we press Shift F3 on our keyboard and uh, go to F Curve Manager, uh, it depends how you would like this to animate. For me, I think uh, let's just do it linearly. Uh, yeah, actually, tell you what. Uh, it would be probably coming in quite linearly and then it would be uh, perhaps getting, I don't know, faster. So, you know, it's maybe a little bit like that. Okay, that's great. Now, the next thing to show you, uh, these are just really extra tips that could just make this pop even more if you want. Uh, you know, you could add a glow onto your sword. And, you know, if we put the radius up to, um, say, a one, and then we put the 
half the strength to what, 300 actually sorry in a, uh, let's put the other strength uh, the other strength to a thousand see what that looks like like I'm just really playing with numbers right now uh, let's put that radius up and just see what happens when I just pull these numbers down 50 50 okay yeah so let's just that inner strength so just up slightly so we get a little bit of a shine on the sword and if you uh, you can actually uncheck this uh, use material color and you can choose your own maybe a type of a blue um, cool yeah so you've got the little bit of a Thundercats uh, Marshall Brave Star a real Ghostbusters kind of shine to it uh, you could also, if you wanted the sword maybe to be more like electricity, we could um, click back and maybe add a little bit of turbulence. And now we can make the sword all electricity-like, if that's the look you want to go for. Um, let me just backstep on there. So the other thing I haven't mentioned here is uh, I don't want this, this shine to go all the way from the bottom of the sword to the top. I, I want it only to be on the blade as such. So we can do that. So I'm just going to go off into active render region. And I'm going to choose, uh, click on the sword and click on a face and UW to get the whole entire sword blade. I'm going to go into my selection. I'm going to set a selection. And then I click, um, let's just call the selection blade. So I've got a selection. Then I click on my texture tag and I just drag in that selection. And now it should only be on the blade. So check that out. Now that wipes only appearing on the blade. And there we go. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.